Hey gang, feeling a bit yachty today, so I figured we could go over the Pina Colada song by Rupert Holmes. This is a great jam for developing your rhythm playing, as well as for learning some interesting chord voicings. I think it's perfect for a beginner or an intermediate level piano player. As always, if you have any requests for a piano song you'd like to learn, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get started. All right, so for the right hand, we're gonna just play an F chord to start, and then we're gonna move these two notes, A and C, up to C and D. So we're gonna go. And once we're up here, we're going to move the top two notes down to F, B, D, and then we're going to end up where we started on F major. So that part goes like this. And then the next chord is this chord, which is an F, A, and D. It could also be thought of as an F6 chord or a D minor inverted. All right, so the whole F part of the riff goes like this. One more time. Next section is the C part of the riff. So the C part is very similar to the F part. You start on C major, then you go up to C, G, B. Move the top two notes down one to C, F, A and then right back at C. Kind of putting it together. And then the last chord is a G minor chord which ties you back to the F. So the whole riff in its entirety should sound something like this. Cool, moving on to the left hand. Um, just like in the right hand, it's kind of divided into two sections. You have the F and the C, so that would be the F part. F, A, G, F, G. And then the C part, C, E, D, C, E. So F part, C part, it's pretty simple, pretty easy bass line, just got to work on it, get it nice and solid before trying to put the hands together. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is put the hands together really slow. So you might have noticed this chord, G minor over E. This is a slash chord. Sounds really kind of funky and weird when you play it slow but when you add it into the mix at normal tempo, it sounds really clever and well done. So props to Mr. Holmes for that creativity. And that's what it looks like hands together.
then sometimes I play with the rhythm. Like sometimes I'll go boom, 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 boom. Sometimes I'll go boom, 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 boom. Just kind of depends on what's going on with the rest of the song or my mood for that particular second. So feel free to do something simple. Or you can try to spice it up by adding more rhythm. It's up to you. Here's a little bonus extra credit for those of you who want to go the extra mile. We've got a little electric piano interlude that happens in all the instrumental parts. And uh, all it is is just a series of thirds in a chord progression that goes F, G, A, F, D, C, D, E, C. Pretty simple. But it sounds really nice. Well, that wraps it up for another piano lesson. I'm really grateful that you could join me today and I hope to see you next time. Until then.